Now the latest installment of the Pirates of the Caribbean series is out. As expected, I mean, this thing's making a lot of money, but star Johnny Depp, he could apparently use some help managing some money. Oh yeah, lawsuits are taking place with his former business managers who say the actor was living a $2 million a month lifestyle. That's with 14 houses and $30,000 a month on wine. That's like your budget on wine, isn't it? Yeah, you caught me, right? 30, <laughs> yeah, right, <exactly>. more like, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, anyway, maybe you should consider giving Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryan, a call. Daryl is one of the area's leading financial advisors and retirement planners. He also hosts his very own weekly retirement show on KFAB. Good to see you, Daryl. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you. Maybe he should give us a call. Maybe that would be a good idea. A month in wine. So. John, I'm a big fan. If I can help, let me know. Yeah, but he's made, I think he's something like <laughs> $650 million mm -hmm. over his career. So how, how does something like this happen where... I mean, the excessive spending, I mean, he's, I don't, I don't know if he's broke, but he's having some financial mm -hmm. problems. You know, <clears throat> we were talking on the radio show this weekend about lessons you learn from your dad and so forth, you know, being Father's mm -hmm. Day and everything. And interestingly, you know, my dad, the, probably the number one lesson my dad ever taught me was uh, when I walked in, he was paying bills. And I didn't know what a bill, I was probably 12, yeah. you know, oblivious, didn't know what a tax was. And the lesson he uh, taught me real quickly was, you know, you got to learn to live within your means. He's writing checks, right? And he's yeah. got, you got to have enough money to pay the bills. Make sure you have some money left over to save, et cetera. And most of us, you know, do that. Johnny obviously has this has a spending issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, what do you make of a guy that can make $650 million and wind up broke? I mean, who, who needs 14 houses? There's only 12 months in a year. I mean, you know what I mean? So yeah. right. it's not what you make naturally, it's what you save. And uh, so he finds himself in a world of hurt, you know? Well, I mean, he's he's more fortunate than most of us because he can sure. now be in a blockbuster movie and make mm -hmm. money back like right. that. But for someone that's like normal people like us who work a nine to five and sure. say you you do have that excess spending, how mm -hmm. can you bounce back from that for retirement? Good question. You know, the first thing I think people need to understand that our culture teaches you to um, uh, spend based on what you can afford in terms of payments, as opposed to what you're spending relative to your annual income, right? So you walk on a car lot and you say, well, gee whiz, the, the car payments, you know, $700 per month or $500 per month. These are these are pretty big numbers, yeah. you know. $500 a month is $6,000 a year. Um, I, I've talked with people who have eight or nine hundred dollar car payments, lease payments, and they make a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Well, that's that's ten percent, you know, of their annual yeah. income right. on a vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's not about what you uh, can afford to to, to uh, spend. It's about what what do you need to spend and to do something as silly as most of us do out there. Many of us do. Um, spend way too much on just transportation getting here, here to there. So the most important thing you can do naturally is live within your means. If you find yourself a little over your head, uh, as many people are, listen, l let's not try to keep up with the Joneses. You know, um, let's not sell our car just because it has a door ding or, a, or you know, needs new tires. And there's a possibility that you might not get to dress as well as your neighbor. You know, you have no idea what his finances are. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you that the, probably the most uh, influential people that come into my office in terms of inspiring myself and staff and so forth are people who come pulling into the office, they're driving a, a Honda or a Ford, etc. They're living in a reasonable home and they have enormous savings and a lot of security going into retirement. Mm -hmm. So it's not about what you earn, it's about what you keep and about being more forward thinking. And we have a lot of people in Omaha, it's, it's practically like I'm preaching to the choir because in Omaha, Nebraska, we have a whole lot of people that already have that mindset yeah. to sort of think of somebody like Johnny Depp, you know, pouring through, you know, $650 million right. in his career. Uh, but yeah, he can rebound pretty quickly, can't yeah. he? He can. Yeah. He can. But it's like, the, but he's like, still got to make good decisions, you know. You do because yeah. he could be in the same spot after sure. the next blockbuster. But sure. uh, it's kind of like the Millionaire Next Door, that book. You know, you, there's mm -hmm. people that live within their means, don't live in a big house, but they mm -hmm. have a, a stack of cash. And then there's other people. And I don't mm -hmm. know, have you worked with people like this that have mm -hmm. maybe come into your office and they've got a good pile of money, but you can see that they're maybe spending a little bit more than, than they should uh, mm -hmm. uh, to plan for mm -hmm. retirement. How do you have that conversation? Yeah, well, you'll see oftentimes, Mike, is you'll have people who come in that'll have really very reasonable income. Maybe they're, you know, $150,000, $300,000, et cetera, and yet they don't have a lot of savings. Mm -hmm. They may have a great lifestyle. They go out and eat really well. Um, they have great furniture, great home, mm -hmm. right? But they're being eaten alive in taxes and, you know, and, and, sure, and upkeep. Sure. And this is a big problem. And then you get ready to go into retirement 
And uh, many times people will come into the office, they don't know what their budget really is, they don't know what they're really spending on their lifestyle, uh, regardless of what they're earning. And so it's a, you know, it, it, we have to start teaching lessons and, and uh, commonly we'll have people that will come in and uh, they will have an income desire. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll have people that will come in and, and they'll be asking for more than they can afford. Yeah, you right. know, as a retire they don't understand that they're going to run out of money. That does happen maybe one in 20, you know, new cases that are coming mm -hmm. in. More commonly in Omaha, Nebraska, that is, not nationally, but in Omaha, Nebraska, we have people coming in and we say, no, we can generate a higher income. If I can just show you how to set this up, we can create uh, a, a larger annual income mm -hmm. than what you're asking for. You're asking for 90, we could probably go 110 and be perfectly reasonable using very, very um, low projections and expectations and so forth. So yeah. it's an interesting dynamic. Yeah, well, it's a simple conversation. If you'd like to have Daryl and his team of seasoned advisors, look at your retirement and your strategy. Just give them a call to set up a private consultation. If you are nearing retirement or already retired, they can take a look, at, a look at all of your assets and your goals and develop a customized income plan for you that can help you get through retirement without running out of money. We don't want that. So mm -hmm. here's that number to dial. It's 402-932-2141. Yeah, it starts the conversation and to schedule your complimentary consultation, call 402-932-2141. You can also check out dbryantretirementstrategies.com if you'd like more information about all that stuff. Uh, interesting topic, and we're yeah, going to kind of follow topic. that Johnny Depp thing a little bit. It'll I'm be interesting to see uh, how spending. things yeah, yeah. $30,000 a month on in wine. wine. Yeah, in wine. What? Yeah, yeah. That's, in, a, in the, that's the, some high-end wine. Oh, can you even drink all that? In the chateau. <laughs> well, he's not buying nine-dollar wine. Okay. Yeah, it's like a thousand dollars a bottle. So <laughs> probably more than that. Thanks a lot. Guests yeah. of the morning blend.